Hello everyone. Welcome to One More Thing. I'm Matt. The Red Light District, as part of global tourism culture, is a place full of legend, attraction and controversy. These special areas are known for their activities related to the sex industry, attracting a variety of people, from curious tourists to thrill-seeking adventurers. In this video, we will take you through time and space to explore the 10 most famous red light districts in the world. First, let us review the concept and historical background of the red light district. Red light districts originate from historic cities, often named for the red light lanterns that line their streets. These areas are often seen as socially fringe places, attracting activities that would be considered illegal or morally unacceptable elsewhere, such as brothels and sex workers. Although red light districts are controversial, they have also become the focus of cultural, historical and social research. Now, let us explore the 10 most famous red light districts in the world that will be introduced in this video. Each red light district has its own unique story and characteristics. From ancient cities in Europe to bustling cities in Asia, they all have unique charm and attractions in their respective areas. Get ready for this adventure across the world to explore these fascinating red light districts and gain insight into their history, culture and local attitudes towards the sex industry. This video will take you through time and space, allowing you to better understand the stories and unique features of these red light districts. Are you ready? Let's start this exciting journey. 1. De Wallen in Amsterdam Amsterdam's De Vere Street, recognized as one of the most famous red light districts in the world, is one of the must-visit places for tourists when coming to the city. This area is located in the Canal District in the center of Amsterdam and is famous for its narrow streets, red-lit lanterns and brothels. Discover the history and culture of De Vere Street as we go back to the 14th century. At the time, the area was a prosperous port, attracting merchants and sailors from all over the place. Over time, the area began to attract more sex industry workers, forming the prototype of a red light district. The uniqueness of De Vere Street is its openness and legality. Dutch law takes a liberal approach to sex workers and the operation of brothels. Here, sex workers can legally carry out their work and have corresponding protection measures. This legalization policy means that the brothels on De Vere Street are regulated and managed by the government and have a strict set of regulations to ensure their safety and health. In addition to brothels, De Vere Street also has a variety of other places and facilities, such as a sex industry museum, sex shops, cafes, etc. There is also a unique cultural atmosphere here that attracts tourists from all over the world. Visitors can stroll the streets here, enjoy the brightly lit nights, and experience the unique atmosphere of this red light district. The Dutch government has a certain philosophy behind its policy of opening up and legalizing De Vere Street. They argue that such policies could reduce the risks of illegal sex trade and human trafficking and provide sex workers with better working conditions and protections. However, this policy has also sparked some controversy and debate, with some arguing that such openness may have a negative impact on society. 2. Hot Pong in Bangkok Hot Pong is one of the most famous red light districts in Asia, located in the center of Bangkok, the capital of Thailand. The area is known for its bustling nightlife and exciting entertainment venues, attracting visitors from all over the world. Patango's nightlife is full of energy and energy. There are countless nightclubs, bars, brothels and night markets to satisfy tourists seeking excitement and entertainment. The neon lights on the streets glowed brightly, and the sounds of music and crowds filled the area. Here visitors can sample local delicacies, watch traditional Thai dances and performances, or search for unique souvenirs at the busy market. However, Thailand differs from the Netherlands in its views and stance on the sex industry. Although Patanko is a place known for its sex industry, Thailand's attitudes toward sex workers and red light districts are more complicated. In Thailand, the sex industry is viewed as a social phenomenon and is partially accepted as a profession. However, it also faces legal and ethical issues. The Thai government has taken some measures to regulate and manage the sex industry in Patanko. They impose some regulation on brothel operations and provide some protective measures, such as regular medical and sanitation inspections. In addition, Thailand has passed a series of laws and regulations prohibiting minors and human trafficking in the sex trade. However, Patango's existence has also raised some controversies and ethical questions. Some believe that the existence of the sex industry has had a negative impact on Thailand's image and social values. They argue that greater efforts should be made to combat illegal sex trade and human trafficking, and that more support and protection should be provided to those affected. 3. Sydney's Red Light District, King's Cross Sydney's Red Light District, 
especially the area in King's Cross, was once one of the most famous and bustling red light districts in Australia. This area is famous for its nightlife, bars and brothels, attracting many tourists and local residents. However, over time, Sydney's red light district has changed. In 2014, the Australian government implemented a series of laws and regulations aimed at rectifying and cleaning up red light districts. These regulations restricted the operation and location of brothels and led to the overall transformation of the red light district. Sydney's attitude and legal regulations towards the red light district are relatively conservative. The government believes that the existence of red light districts may cause social problems, such as criminal activity and human trafficking. Therefore, they took steps to limit the occurrence of these problems. Brothels must operate within strict legal regulations and within specific areas. In addition, the government has also stepped up its crackdown on illegal sex trade and sexual exploitation to protect the rights and interests of victims. These laws and regulations had an impact on Sydney's red light district and led to its change and shrinkage. Many brothels have closed or been moved out of the King's Cross area of the city centre. This change has also triggered debate and discussion about the red light district. Some believe these measures can help reduce criminal activity and sexual exploitation and protect the rights of those affected. However, others believe that such restrictions may cause distress for sex workers and make them more vulnerable to unfair treatment. Despite the changes in Sydney's red light district, the area still has some nightlife and entertainment options. King's Cross's nightclubs, bars and other entertainment venues continue to attract tourists and local residents. In addition, Sydney, as an international city, has a multicultural and open social concept, and people's views on the red light district and the sex industry are also diverse. 4. Pigalle in Paris. Pigalle is one of the most famous red light districts in Paris, France, located at the foot of Montmartre. The area is known for its unique art, culture and nightlife, attracting visitors from all over the world. Pigalle's history dates back to the late 19th century, when the area became a gathering place for artists and cultural figures in Paris. At the time, Pigalle was famous for its famous cabaret shows, concert halls and theaters, which attracted many well-known artists and entertainment personalities. During this period, Pigalle became a symbol of Parisian art and entertainment. Over time, however, Pigalle gradually transformed into a red-light district, known for its erotic entertainment and sex industry. Despite this, Pigalle has retained its rich artistic and cultural heritage. The area is home to many renowned theaters, concert halls and performance venues, hosting all forms of performances including concerts, plays and cabaret shows. In addition, Pigalle has many art galleries and studios that attract artists and art lovers. In addition to arts and entertainment, Pigalle also has many historic landmarks. As one of the landmarks of Paris, Montmartre attracts tourists and residents alike with its charming streets, cafes and small shops. The famous Sacré Cour Basilica in Montmartre is located on top of Montmartre and offers spectacular panoramic views of the city. Pigalle is also home to the famous Moulin Rouge Theatre, a historic performance venue famous for its colorful cabaret shows. 5. Kabakicho in Tokyo Kabakicho is an area located in Tokyo, Japan and one of the largest red light districts in Japan. The area is known for its bustling nightlife, sex industry and entertainment venues, attracting tourists from all over the world. Kabakicho's history dates back to the 1940s, when the area began to develop as an entertainment district, attracting many theaters, bars, and nightclubs. However, over time, Kabakicho gradually transformed into an area dominated by the porn industry. There are a large number of sex shops, nightclubs, karaoke and massage parlors here, providing various forms of sexual services and entertainment. Japan has a unique perspective and cultural phenomenon on the sex industry. Kabakicho, as one of the representatives of Japan's sex industry, shows one side of this perspective. In Japan, the sex industry is considered a commercial activity, legal and regulated. Many custom shops and nightclubs operate within the legal framework and provide various services to customers. This view reflects Japanese society's values on personal autonomy and commercial freedom. In addition to the business perspective, Japan has a unique cultural phenomenon regarding the sex industry. In Kabakicho, not only sexual services are provided, but also various special entertainment and performances. For example, many nightclubs and karaoke bars offer cabaret performances so that patrons can have fun while enjoying music and dancing. In addition, Japanese custom shops often have special themes, such as made cafes and role-playing games, to meet the special needs and preferences of customers. 6. Singapore in Red Light District, Geylang 
Singapore's red light district is located in an area called Geylang and is one of the most well-known areas in Southeast Asia. Geylang red light district has attracted the attention of many tourists and local residents with its special culture and style. In Singapore, the existence of red light districts is strictly regulated by law. Under local laws, sex workers must obtain specific licenses and registrations and engage in sex work in designated venues. These places are usually in specific areas within the Geylang Red Light District, known as designated red light districts. These venues are strictly regulated and regulated to ensure the safety and hygiene of sex workers and to prevent illegal sex trade and human trafficking. In addition, Singapore has implemented a series of legal measures to combat illegal sex trafficking and human trafficking. Singapore's legal regulations on red light districts reflect the country's strong emphasis on social order and public health. By regulating the activities of sex workers and red light districts, the government aims to manage and reduce the risk of related problems while providing a safe and legal environment to protect the rights and interests of sex workers. This legal provision also reflects Singaporean society's concern for moral values and its efforts to maintain social morality and justice. In addition to legal provisions, Singapore's view of red light districts also reflects the country's cultural values. Singapore is a multicultural country, integrating the cultures of Chinese, Malay, Indian and other ethnic groups. In this context, the sex industry is regarded as a sensitive and controversial issue. Singaporean society generally has a more conservative attitude towards the sex industry and puts moral values first. Therefore, the existence and operation of red light districts have attracted public attention and discussion. A controversial and sensitive topic, red light districts exist in all shapes and sizes around the world. Different countries and cities have different legal regulations and cultural views on red light districts, reflecting the values and cultural backgrounds of different societies. Whether it is Geylang in Singapore, San Nicolas Boulevard in Los Angeles or Europa Boulevard in Berlin, these red light districts have become the focus of attention. They attract tourists and local residents and become part of the city's nightlife. However, we cannot ignore the problems brought about by these areas, such as illegal sex trade, human trafficking, etc. Therefore, governments around the world need to enact corresponding legal and regulatory measures to ensure the safety and hygiene of sex workers while curbing illegal activities. The existence of red light districts also reflects society's attitudes and values towards the sex industry. Some regions prioritize moral values and have a more conservative attitude toward the sex industry, while other regions are more open and tolerant. These different views and values make the red light district a controversial issue, triggering public attention and discussion. Whatever our stance on red light districts, we should be concerned about the human rights and social justice issues involved. Sex workers should receive appropriate protection and support and be able to carry out their work in a safe and legal environment. At the same time, we should also pay attention to issues such as illegal sex trade and human trafficking, and support corresponding legal and regulatory measures. The red light district is a complex and multifaceted issue that requires comprehensive consideration of social, legal, moral and human rights factors. By in-depth understanding and discussion of these issues, we can better understand the existence and impact of red light districts and explore more effective ways to respond to related issues to create a more equitable, safe and inclusive society. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe and sharing. We will bring you more valuable videos. See you next time.